chiseling son of a bitch. Snake <laughs> weasel. Pamela. Dick. <laughs> I, I hate that. He didn't put in a good line for me. <laughs> okay, start with that. Yeah. You're Pamela and you're a dick? I'm Dick. Um, uh, Dickie, Dickie Bell. He's my ex-husband. I'm from New York. And I'm, He's uh, from I'm all kind of, over the place. I'm kind of a creep. In kind the play. of. Just a little. I'm the, I'm the lowest form of scum that they uh, could come up with for this play. Yes, let's just say he has a zipper problem. <laughs> I cheated on her 13 times in six months. It was a happy marriage. I was busy. <laughs> and he's still blood-sucking off of me. Well, now she's got the hots for this rival golf club uh, manager, and uh, we got a big... Uh, we got a big tournament going on with lots of money at stake. A little bit of intrigue. Yes. A lot of cheating, a lot of money, a lot of gambling. What could be better? What could be more wholesome? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the kids at home. <laughs> yeah, the young, young ones. Uh, yeah. Yes. Probably not. Rolling through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please keep that in there of her. <laughs> I'm Louise Hindbetter. I'm hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Are we all four in this? Yeah, you're in a four Okay. Hi, I'm Louise Hindbetter. I play Muriel Bingham. You're on, Hicks. Me, sir? Yes. Uh, I, I'm Justin Hicks. I'm the new assistant here at uh, Quail Valley. And I am Henry Bingham, the director of Quail Valley, which is a superior golf club to my counterpart over there. This, by the way, is my, my lovely wife. Mm -hmm. And we just got engaged. <laughs> At we least did. once. Uh, yeah. Well, it's, yeah, yes, it's a, and, and Hicks it's here, you'll rocky. find out, has played a game of golf or two. My, I, however, have not. <laughs> my husband makes some very stupid decisions. No, no, misguided. I wouldn't call them stupid. <laughs> stupid. 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 Okay, fine. Stupid. You're stupid. I am, after mm -hmm. all, a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, either way, we're going to win the tournament, and it's going to be great. Yes. Well, and Miss Heimbetter here is one of my employees also. I'm the best employee. It's a complicated web of relationships and problems and sweaters sweaters mm -hmm. yes. sweaters, sweaters. Um, and vases mm -hmm. and yes. champagne and push-ups push-ups push <laughs> uh, and uh, goose liver and affairs yeah. and punching and blue chairs and yeah. yes lots yes. of fun screaming stuff. Yes. screaming kissing yes but not for me <laughs> crying, crying yelling crying. <laughs> Nice grabbing or grabbing? Ooh, no, oh, no, like naughty grabbing. <laughs> naughty? Mm. One of these two seem to have a problem with wanting to be alone a lot. I don't know why. Well, I have learned one thing. You should never make out in a kitchen. It's very yes. Right. Yeah. Or on my couch. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Well, actually, we have a wonderful cast. Uh, the, the six of these people and my crews, uh, Kathy Brecky and Karen Simonowski, have worked really hard. The uh, nice thing about this play is it's essentially based on a simile, and the simile being the fox and all of the characters in the play. We have a, a wise old fox who gets beaten out by a smarter fox, and we have a young fox, and we have a couple of vixens, and then we have a very, very young fox who needs a lot of personal attention to get him through the day. Uh, I think it's really hysterical, but I would say it is uh, an adult piece of theater. And I would also say you're going to laugh your little fannies off because it is hysterical. God, I hope so. <laughs>